All right, morning, day two. Getting the uh, tent put away back there. Started started packing that up, it's about eight o'clock. I set three alarms um, throughout the night so I could check on the tides. You can see it never, even, it never got closer than that to the tent. So I was really happy with that. The kayak stayed staked down nicely. I did move that around midnight. It had come in quite a bit. And so I moved the stake up and drug the kayak back up on dry ground and it's already wet again. Yeah, you can just hear fish out here jumping all night. A little bit of boat traffic moving through the night. Uh, overall, not, not a bad little spot to camp. Heard a little bit of road traffic from over there, but for the most part, just the fish jumping in the water. And it was a nice night. I slept pretty good. Today, I'm gonna go across Laguna Madre. I was looking a lot closer at the Navionics app and I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, stay close enough to the shoreline over here. So I'm gonna probably head to the other side of Laguna Madre, closer to the ICW, which runs along the north side there and try to hug those deeper waters. And by deeper, I mean like three or four feet um, instead of one foot. So yeah, I'm gonna get packed up here and, and get, on the, get on the waterway. All right, we are free today. The tracking on, life jacket on, get the motor in the water. It's a little later than I wanted to be getting out of here. It's almost 10, but that is okay. We got a lot done. I got everything done I wanted to get done. And I'm gonna try to go. I eyeballed it last night to get out of here nice and easy. The battery was fully charged. I made, I didn't make a full half gallon of water. Tested it with the meter, test good. Decided I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna try to keep this on my person, a little lanyard here, just so that it stays with me no matter what. And uh, yeah. It's kind of weird. I can see the bridge over here from uh, the South Padre Bridge, the one we kind of left from yesterday. It's weird that, you know, travel, when do you travel four or five hours and you can still see the place you left from? <laughs> so I'm actually kind of heading towards it to get around this bank and then we're, we're kind of going that way. Winds are still pretty calm, definitely less than 10 knots, uh, closer to five. Very, very pretty day though. give the uh, day two midday update here so we've gone maybe six or seven miles since we started it's about 12 30. Uh, been putting a positive charge on the battery since we left it's almost it's going to be full in about another hour and a half uh made our half gallon of water this morning that was good but yeah traveling at a speed of five with a tailwind like these are probably the most optimal conditions for what i'm doing it's about a 10 to 15 knot tailwind quartering so crabbing a little bit it wants to push the, the boat a little but it's fine keeping it straight with the uh, with the trolling motor just back and forth a little bit we're only up to about the lure so maybe four foot deep here and if I just push in another 50 yards that way uh, it's even shallower to the point I'm a little concerned about uh, if I'm gonna be able to get in this afternoon because of the low tides again if I want to push all the way across then it's gonna be that's about five miles that would take a couple hours the winds are favorable to do that, but looking on a map, it's hard to tell. Looking at my Navionics with the depth chart, that's the problem over here is that I know it's gonna be, it, it's getting into the section where it's not even charted. It's like a foot or less probably um, at, at low tide. So, okay, so uh, this is kind of like super sketch now. <laughs> the chart said I was gonna get into some really shallow stuff here and yeah, this area does not disappoint. So I need to make a decision. Do I want to keep trying to hug this coastline or go the four miles across, hoping there's deeper water and I can just back up to a spot to bed down for the night. Okay, so I'm calling it. Uh, I was looking at Google Maps and I, I'm thinking I'm gonna have a better shot over on the other side. This side, I can't get very close. I'm probably, I don't know, what, a mile offshore, off the shore right now. And I can't, every time I go in, I keep getting skinny and I keep bumping the bottom and I turn around and I come back out and. I'm just getting further and further away anyway. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and bop over to the Intracoastal Waterway. Like I said, I was looking at it on the map and there, there looks like there's a lot of little islands there that I can uh, that I can get up on. So, and they come right up out of the out of the ICW, get on the backside of one of those maybe, so I'm not getting waked by, by boats, but um, it looked a lot more 
manageable as far as water depth than this side. So, um, yeah, we're gonna go that way. It's, I think it should take about an hour and a half at four miles. We're doing, we've been excel we've been going so fast. Um, the battery got full and I sped it up to a seven. So, uh, it's been trucking along really nicely today. I think I'm gonna have a, a really good day overall. seen a lot of fish today. I see I saw three stingray, I saw two redfish, a shark. Um, I thought I just saw a speck a minute ago, so it might have been a speckled trout. And then the only other thing I need to see I think is a uh, flounder and I'll have the triple crown of the Gulf Coast fish sightings with nothing in the boat. So I did try to fish a couple of times but oh there he is hooked up. Oh yeah fish on Nice. All right, make sure. Oh, that's a nice red. Come on, red. Ah! Uh, oh, I thought I lost it. Oh, he's right here by the motor. Ah, turn the motor off. He's not going to let me catch him for a while. I'm on 10 pound test with a 20 pound leader. All right, I got to move forward, so I'm going to end up on shore. <laughs> got one hand on the controller. We've got to stay off. We're about to run ashore. There's the leader. Oh, that looks like just a, a black drum. It's not a, it's not a redfish. Kind of wishing I had a net now. I'm wishing this wind wasn't blowing. Come on, guy. Come on. Oh, man. All right. Just got to get you to shore. Just going to leave that in there. We'll find a place to stay tonight. Awesome. All right, so we're trying to make, make it through here and around to the right. Uh, we'll see. I put my boots on in case I got to jump out like the biggest landmass on the chart but it also had a little warning about a sandbar in here so I'm gonna go try to hug this post and hopefully that's the marker for hey go here it's safe and I see people fishing on the other side over there so it should be good a lot calmer so yeah I think I'm gonna try to pull up into this little cut right over here oh I'm hitting bottom now feels like we got some water in the hole it's a little, a little deeper See if we can get up on this bank over here. Texas mud. All right, let's see back in and in here. I don't get any of that. All right, don't need to go fast. Yeah, it's still mushy. All right, this is where we're at for night two. I just pulled it up there, anchored it down again. I can't get it any further than that. It's too heavy. And this muck is mucky. I'm very glad I have these new green boots. Is this muddy? Okay, end of day two. I think if you draw a line from where I started this morning to where I stopped, it's about uh, 15 miles. If you draw a line from where I started at Port Isabel yesterday to where I am now, it's about 19 miles, maybe. Um, so 
I think I would have been better off from the get-go to just go down the ICW straight, but I was a little worried about the winds picking up across the bay. But now I know this bay is so shallow that the waves just don't really pick up. It would take 20 plus knot winds to do that and I wouldn't be kayaking in that. But So finished eating, got a nice sunset going on over here. It's beautiful. I don't know if it's showing up very well on the camera, but I uh, got a belly full of fish and rice and what my bag yesterday my black bag was soaked it leaked one of my dry bags um, sitting on the floor in the back of the kayak uh, that water coming in on the on the floor back there i guess there was a hole in it so all of my regular clothing is wet but all of my emergency clothing is dry so my heavy jacket and my uh, sweatpants and my dry pants those are all those are all dry still but and those don't seem to want to dry <laughs> Uh, now because they're they've been dunked in super saline water, but uh, We'll see hopefully they dry overnight. I, I seriously doubt anything's gonna dry out here in this humid air overnight Anyway tomorrow if I can make it to Port Mansfield, that would be awesome It's 18 miles straight down the ICW from me now and uh, if I can make it there I feel really good really good about making some good progress The battery was great today plenty of power and everything. I covered all that earlier. No, no no issues there, so yeah, should sleep good here. Hopefully this coyote stays away. Um, there's coyote scatter everywhere, but uh, I left him my fish way over there. So if he wants it, he can he can have it. I can't believe he can live on this island or she, whichever it is. It's a small little island, just a little bit of bush. So all right, going to bed. See you in the morning. <laughs>